Hey everybody, here to show you how to download the newest Ambinar EU4 GitLab version so you can keep your game updated. To do that, you're going to want to start on our homepage through the GitLab link here. You'll also find it in the description below, and you can do it by typing exclamation point repository in any of our Discord channels. So once you're on the homepage here, you're going to see I'm not signed in, so don't worry, that doesn't matter. You're going to want to go to code, and then from code you're going to download a source zip file. Alright, and now that we have our Ambinar E4 Dev New Master downloaded here, this is that zip file. We're going to click on it, right click, and I'm just going to extract all right here. Alright, now that it's successfully unzipped, we're going to dive down into it. So here we're going to follow down, this is the important layer, because when you open up this one, you'll see all the files. We want to find the mod file right here. And it's already set to open to Notepad++, so I'll just show you right-clicking it. I'm going to open it with that, because that's my editor of choice. So open it with Notepad++. What's important here is the path over here, path mod slash Ambinar public fork. We don't need mod slash yet. I'll show you what that's good for later. What's important right now is Ambinar dash public fork, so everything that comes after it. The reason that that's important here is because we need to make sure that this has the same name as this folder here. So for example, it doesn't matter whether you change it in the path to be this, or change it here to be the path. For ease, I'm going to change this one to be what was from the path. So I copied that, and I'm going to paste it here. Ambinar dash public fork. Alright, by this point you're probably wondering how do we actually get this into our EU4. And so what we're going to do is go to Documents, Paradox Interactive, and we're going to drag this from, if you recall, we had one level higher, an outer shell. We're not going to need this. So we're just going to go in, and we're going to copy it here and paste it right into Europa Universe House 4 into mod. Here you're going to see all your workshop mods. As you can see, I have quite a few, but we don't really need to pay any attention to those. We just need to paste Ambinar Public Fork. This will take a moment. All right, and now that we've got Ambinar dash public fork here, what we want to do is find that mod file again. And you remember it was mod slash before. So what we're going to want to do is we're going to copy it here. And we're going to go back to mod, and we're going to paste it right out here. Where is that? There it is. So now, let's just refresh, sync it all up, and let's open up EU4. All right, now we've got our launcher open. Some quick troubleshooting. Sometimes instead of copy and pasting it, you need to just directly move it. Um, I often find more success in this and copy and pasting it, but just in case. And another one is sometimes, you know, the workshop needs to update, needs to reload. So if you don't see it immediately, you can try and give it some time or close your scheme and close your Europa and try again. Especially because if you already have your launcher open when you do it, it needs to close to reload. So now we're going to go to our play sets, and I just made an Ambinar GitLab one, and we're going to need to add a mod. And you'll see it here, no picture. It's called Ambinar-Public Fork. It's almost a gig now. Who knows what size it'll be when you're downloading it. And we're going to add this to our play set. And, I mean, all that's left now is to play the mod. All right, so far so good. What we want to wait for to make sure it works is shortly after the EU4 title screen, you'll find the Ambinar one. Once you've got that, you can confirm that it absolutely works. All right, there we go. It's working. So this is the public fork. This will be the newest and most updated version. If you're looking to update yours more easily, what I recommend is following through with the way the developer is doing it, which is creating your own custom fork. There's a really good guide for that written down. And then you can easily use it through tools such as Git or Git Kraken. And it's just much easier to update than going through this whole process. To get the public version of Ambinar CK3, you'll want to go to the Ambinar CK3 GitLab, which again can be found through exclamation point repository in our Discord channel or through the description of this video. Once you're there, you'll want to go into code, much like for the EU4. You don't need to be signed in. And you want to download the source code. With that completed, you can once again unzip it. Once it is in fully copied over, enter the folder and at the top where the address is, right click and select copy address. Then go to your mod file, the descriptor, and you can right click that and edit with Notepad++ or any other editor of your choice. Once it's been opened, once it is in fully copied over, enter the folder and at the top where the address is, right click and select copy address. Then go to your mod file, the descriptor, 
and you can right click that and edit with Notepad++ or any other editor of your choice. With your Notepad open, go to the path line in your descriptor.mod. Replace mod slash CK3 with the address that you just copied. Note, you will have to replace each of these slashes with a backward slash. If you do not do this, it will not work. All right, and don't forget to save. Now in the launcher, I'll create a new playset. I will name it Ambinar. Here, I'm going to add more mods, and I can find it under Ambinar CK3 Dev right here. If I just add that to my playset, you'll see it there. And now all I have to do left is uh, switch to the playset and press play. For those looking to play Ambinar Viki 3's latest development build, you're in luck, that is the easiest one to do. First, go to the GitLab, which can be found by typing exclamation point repository in a Discord channel or through the video's description. Then, and notice I'm not signed in, again, you do not need to be signed in to access any of these. You'll want to go to code and download the source code through a zip. All right, and with that play downloaded, you'll want to right click Ambinar Viki 3 dev main in your downloads and extract all. Once that is fully finished unzipping, copy it and head over to your documents, Paradox Interactive, Vertoria 3. There, find your mod folder and paste it there. And now you are finished. The next step is, of course, to go check to ensure that it worked. Headed to the launcher, next we're going to go to our Ambinar GitLab, which is a place that I just created. You'll see it's empty and add a mod. Here we have the Ambinar Viki 3 dev main. Ignore Ambinar Viki 3 here, that is my own personal fork for developing. So when we go into Ambinar Viki 3 dev main, select it, add it to the playset, and then we press play.